Yeah, early October, it was crazy meeting him through Matt. He just asked if he could bring this guy Sal along with him. More the merrier, in my opinion, if I can have people come through. And they show up and it was just a fun time shooting with them and uh, working, doing my photo video stuff with other musicians is really cool for me because I hadn't been able to do that with other musicians really yet. And so to be able to see guys who are you know, really pursuing it in, in a way is, is special. And so afterwards, I think that Sal and I built this very cool connection and it just felt very organic, like the music was, you know, that it became, but our, the way that our friendship started was very organic as well. Yeah, I went on that day, pulled his Spotify, listened to his music. This is super dope. Love to like record with him. And he hit me up shortly after the shoot, just thanking me for the whole shoot and everything like that. And said that he, you know, really loved loved my sound and wanted to work together. Yeah, we like connected. I went out of town for a couple of weeks and then it was shortly before Thanksgiving. We wanted to get a session in before I went out of town and I heard Sal's production and I thought that it was so in line with what I wanted my music to sound like. And so I came in, I was like, let's just jam. And like, what are you working on? And so we pulled up a project, you know, we started cooking on that, cooking up some lyrics. And I said, let me, you know, show you where I'm coming from lyrically. And then started playing softly. And I was like, bro, we got to start recording that right now. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, let's do it. And so, yeah, we just laid down, you know, laid down the guitar and then got to work. And that's pretty much how the session started. And by the end of the night, one, we had a great time, but two, uh, we had the bones of a song. We were really nailed out and it was so cool to hear how clean everything sounded and true to my voice, but it was also just refined in a way that I couldn't do on my own. It was so easy, I think, like right from the start. It didn't feel like work and it never usually does unless you have like an artist who comes in and it's like, I'm here to record, you know? But, uh, but this was different, you know, we were just hanging out, we were making good music and I think that's like a, a huge part of creating stuff that's like, it's gonna last, you know what I mean? To see our friendship evolve and then the records evolve was a, a special thing, man. And I'm, I'm very grateful for for the man, the myth, the legend, man. Sal is a, a beast and I'm always going to be um, just excited for working together and, you know, us to be able to, to make music. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, when we first started with the project, uh, it was all guitar. I played this beautiful Fender Telecaster. I started just playing the chords. I kind of adapted them through the months of playing, you know, live. So just more of kind of the bluesy vibe to it. And so it's just these three chords. And then the last one has, it sounds way fancier than it is, but it has this little lick that is just. And uh, a lot of people like that too, so I think it's interesting for the song. So we just started laying down the guitar and the first round of vocals. We did it without a click, so yep. it was just you like you singing and playing it. That's right, that's and right. And we were recording the guitar part. Um, and then yeah, you sang the, the main melody line. I was on a lonely road. A solo the vocal and then just talk about that for a second. You're killing me so. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a great vocal take. <laughs> well done, my friend. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, I keep it pretty simple when recording vocals. I have my, my go-to mic, which is the Townsend Labs. Um, really flexible, because you could choose a mic model after the fact. Um, and like, I settled on the U47, I think, for your voice, because it just sounded so warm. Super light processing. Besides that, I just have like a compressor, a little EQ, another compressor on top of that for like, for character. <laughs> Yep. I'd say. Um, the Esser, Fresh Air, which is my Ooh. favorite free plug-in in the world. <laughs> it just makes things sound so crispy. And it was already crispy from the start, but just like a little a little hair of it just to make it pop more. Mm -hmm. This is my go-to chain. I use it for my voice. You Beautiful. Know? Obviously, like, I would have to like adjust it per, per singer, but right. nine times out of ten, it like works really well. Can we solo the guitar and maybe just talk about yeah. that as well? Look like there's a whole ton of there's not at all so we were going through my quad cortex which is like an amp modeler um i just had like a clean sort of slightly dirty setting that's really all i needed wow. i put some reverb like a little bit more reverb after the fact but i just wanted that like live in the room kind of sound yeah when i first played the song i was like i want production wise this to feel like it is live right and i think with the whole ep we were able to really do that and give it that life in a in a cool way where it won't sound drastically different when you hear it live. I think we'll go right to drums now. Very simple. That's what we wanted with the drums. We yeah. wanted them to be sparse, but 
to have an impact as it goes into the second verse having the hats come in i think is very helpful to mm -hmm. give it that movement as it progresses yeah it's a really good like dry yeah i love, I love how they came together yeah go back to that that the stab right through my chest a uh, little yeah, uh, yeah yeah right, right there. there yeah once we built the drums out it was really about how do we hook people off the bat right that was the mm -hmm. thing we talked about in that second session was uh, wanting to be able to make somebody the moment you hit play be like yeah. whoa that's Scrap you know something coming at you and that's when we started to come up with the intro and i think it actually came through the bass line that you played and it all happened when he played this little ba -ba -num -num. the lick yeah that's the lick that lick is so tasty Oh, and then the piano. The piano yeah. Let's let's solo the the piano and the organ actually too. With the keys was just to to mirror everything that we were playing, but just to give it another element of something really cool live. Yeah, like we didn't want anything too crazy. Just the pad. It didn't make sense to do like have anything like electronic. An organ just like fit really well, I think, with the, the vibe of the song. Yeah, it's like really tucked in and just. A warm hug to everything. <laughs> <laughs> True. And then the vocals are just a bunch of vocal stacks. So I think that could be the next yeah, thing that we do is just go into the one. go into the vocal harmonies. So there's like this natural dissonance because of the different octaves that I was singing. And these vocals are a little bit more processed than my lead. And then let's play it with the with the lead as well. Killing me so <laughs> oh man as we continue then there were some spaces in the verses that i thought could use just something more to fill in the space and so we actually did the the ooze first let's go to the ooze i didn't realize we did that many layers for them yeah spooky spooky indeed mm -hmm. i kind of wanted to mirror the chorus melody in the verses through something that was ambient and so then we took these ooze and we just tracked a handful of different versions panned them crazy and then we did this spaced out plugin just to give it that super far out spacey feeling we played around with this quite a bit to get it to the way that we wanted it to yeah. toward the end of the production was yeah we added these uh, ambient little keys in every single one of my songs that I've released, I've used a reverse guitar mm -hmm. where I play out a note and I just then reverse it and it gives the riser effect. This is the reverse guitar. Yep. And here is the riser. And then here they are together. And that's how we ended the song as well. Mm -hmm. The transition into the following song. Should we just listen to it all together? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I was on a yeah, so that's the production for Softly. That's how we made yeah. the song. I mean, there's a couple other things here and there, but that, that covers the bulk of what we what we did. And uh, I'm really proud of how it how it came together, bro. How you, Dude, how you feel? It's it's just it feels so good, you know. <laughs> Excited for you to just jam out to the song and. Big shout out to, to Sal for helping this whole thing to come to life and uh, excited to share more with you guys.